Hello, world. I see green lights. We might have a program. Patricia O'Connor and Frida Reba Darcy. You can see that ear telescope in, uh, over the tree there. Uh, tonight, Saturday Night Live Bonsai. I have uh, two trees on the bench here, and we're going to pot up at least one of them, maybe both of them. Uh, the one in the green pot is uh, in the little green plastic pot is a ponderosa. Is a ponderosa pine that we potted up from a plug. We could have drugged that out. Uh, I could have put y'all through that a lot longer than I'm going to. Uh, we uh, potted that up last fall, and sometime after that, we put some motion to it. And tonight, I am going to uh, minimize the roots a little bit on the bottom, and I'm going to put it in this really pretty little pot. Hi, Jay. It's really good to see you tonight. Um, and so that's that's what we have going there. And if we get done in time, I would like to repot a tree that um, it's just now ready. Uh, I was thinking that it had been a year. I started thinking about it. It had been two years. Uh, my answer to the $50 challenge was uh, this this guy. And uh, it was, I bought the pot and I bought uh, a tree already wired that had already had some motion to it. And I basically chopped it in half to, uh, and then plant and then put the bottom half um, in this, in this little pot. And that's what I did when I was in recovery from, um, from surgery here a couple of years ago, I wasn't able to get out and get about much, but I still wanted to play. And so, um, I think I still looked like, oh, holy hell, at the time. I don't remember. That was probably an off-camera. an off. I was probably still pretty scary looking at that point. Um, any rate, that's, uh, that's what's going on there. So between Frida and I, we are, uh, I've got all the tools that I, would, that I would normally need for this. I've got my weenie skewers. Hi, Lee. I have my... Uh, a couple of pair of uh, needle nose pliers that are really small. I have some uh, wire cutters and some um, and some pliers and a big pair of wire cutters and uh, a couple of pair of scissors and a couple of pair of uh, tweezers standing by. I've got my little substrate copper substrate holder full and I got a pie tin to back it up in case uh, in case we get weird um so yeah there's no there's no time like the present this is one of uh elizabeth crutendon's pots and out of the uk it is a uh it is a beautiful hand carved hand carved little beauty i've already got a screen in there i've already got a hi lisa I've already got some uh, wires to tie that little puppy down, to lasso that guy down, and we can just go ahead and get started. It's going to make a little bit of mess, but it shouldn't get any bigger. It shouldn't get any bigger than the top of the table. So I'm not really, you know, y'all know me. I'm not. Um, we're not Betty Crocker over here, or uh, Heloise either here. Help yourself. You can treat yourself to uh, a few little delectables. All right. So when it comes to the wire on this guy, there's not a lot of wire on this Ponderosa uh, as far as the bottom of the pot. I um, wrapped the wire all the way around the tree, ran it through the plug, and then ran that out of the bottom of the pot and curled it up through that hole. So to get started, we'll just we'll just cut that we'll just cut that guy loose right there. Done. And uh 
we have some roots coming out of the bottom. We can just go ahead and get rid of those now. Oh yeah, I'm going to go through and remove our bio gold limps. This tree, we did a show where we wired up this tree. Um, And we we wired up several of these, you know, uh, all ten of them. And uh, you know, for me, wiring, I got to the point on some of these trees when we were just when we were just going through and and just making a lot of trees. I felt like I was getting pretty good at it. Uh, it's for me, it's not like riding a bicycle not like riding a bicycle. Uh, when I took a month off and came back into it, I was rusty. I didn't pick right back up and start doing wheelies like like I could on a bicycle. So um, that was one thing. And some of those pines, some of those ponderosas, after we had just got through doing all that work, on those Japanese black pine, some of those ponderosas came out really nice. I also scarred one up so bad that that proved fatal. That was the first time, uh, and it's not the last. Sorry to say, but that was the first time that I had ever wired something and could see that that was uh, detrimental. You know. Like well, when you when you broke it here, or when you squeeze it too much here, and bite and got a really big huge bite into it right there, that was the beginning of the end for this little tree. It was one of those. So I had that happen to one, so that took us down to nine, and out of those nine. Uh, some of them came out very, very well. Uh, you know, some of them I was, I wasn't too bad. I did a pretty good job. I wasn't too far off my mark. And um, and some of them, they came out nice despite despite me. There's another one on the bench that I have it that I haven't potted up yet. And the tree came out nice. I look at it and I go, well, no runs, no drips, no errors. We didn't bite in anywhere or we didn't cut into the tree anywhere. We didn't really uh, tear anything up. Uh, and at the same time, uh, we didn't do the greatest wiring job. It separated from the tree over here. Uh, it, uh, it had too many, you know, I could see where... Some of the stuff, the tree was better than my wiring job, even. So I, I would go so far as to say that. But uh, this one wasn't one of those. It performed very well when I bent it, and I performed like I knew to do when I wired it. So between the two of us, uh, I wouldn't, you know, I'm not going to, um, it wasn't all of that. It wasn't all of that, but I, I would say between the two of us, we both did our, we both did our job. And, uh, I did a pretty okay job of wiring this little guy and it responded, it responded well to that. Like, and it likewise responded well to that. So that was pretty that was pretty exciting. Going to, we're going to reduce this some. It's got so many roots. We're going to reduce this some, but we're also not going to plant this tree uh, low in here. We're, we're, uh, it'll be mounted up a little. These guys. Um, 
did really well in Perlite. They just they really responded well to the Perlite. So yeah, uh, I am very much liking the looks of the way these roots are turning out. They're they're uh, very fine, actually. And uh, for a tree that's known for uh, rather coarse vascular systems, we're Got some pretty fine, I would say we got some pretty fine results, some pretty fine roots out of that. Uh, got rid of, that's me getting rid of uh, a, a wire. Where'd it go? There it is. Is the sound okay tonight? I've been watching the little balls go right and left, so I know something's happening. Um, I suppose somebody probably would have said something. We did a show three weeks ago, a month ago, probably a month ago, where I kept having audio troubles. And um, it was funny. It was really, if you go back and look, you can go back and look, and they're like, and the guys were, the guys in chat were like, I feel so bad for her. <laughs> Somebody spell her name really in all caps. Uh, and it kept happening. It happened like three times. We had managed to kill our batteries, pretty much kill our batteries on our, uh, on our microphone. Live video is, is, um, so exciting. All right, there's another, there's another wire right there. I was, uh, wonder. Okay, I'm, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to just cut it. I see what it is. I wrapped two wires at a time around the trunk to get my bins. And then one of them came out of the bottom of the, uh, of the pot, which I showed y'all when I cut that. And the other one, I just found it randomly in the root ball. I uh, wonder if this is okay. So when it comes time to go to town on roots like this, I, I don't like to use my um my good scissors. That would be this is our carnage cam. That's some pretty cool stuff there. All right. That was uh, fairly painless. Fairly, fairly painless. This is our, uh, I made this out of uh, three copper fittings. This is the cap. Uh, this is the union. And this is a piece of pipe that I cut at an angle. Wait, this is a piece of pipe. This is a cap, and this is the union. So 
that I cut it at an angle. I think that's the way that works. It was a hard cut to make. I couldn't get the chop off saw loaded with the right blade, but I couldn't get it to cut something this sharp. I had to physically hold it while cutting it and hoping it didn't and hope while hoping it didn't get too weird. And you couldn't do I couldn't do a, a weird cut like that with a pipe cutter. Um, if there's a trick that would allow for that, I'd like to know it. What it is. Any hoodie. So that's a little bit of substrate mounted up in there. Oop. That would probably sound awful if it fell. If that fell on the floor to the guys down below. That would probably sound pretty awful. All right. Let's see if we have any ideas here. I want to. Better expose. Yeah. I'm raking this away from the Nabari, exposing our, I'm exposing the base of this tree better. And it's paying off. Yeah, uh, this tree has really has. We did a couple of things right on this tree. Uh, most of them out of this batch, I had already pretty much learned to come out of the ground running. In other words, make your make your bin where it comes out of the ground before it comes out of the ground, so that when you rake it back to check the nabari, you don't find that it's that it's. Uh, really comically straight there you know you've already got some uh, direction going so this tree as well if that's level this tree kind of goes in in a couple of different directions when it comes out of the ground and um we'll accentuate that angle slightly when we plant it We'll try to get a little, a little more out of that still. Okay. This is uh, the original. This is the original uh, little root ball, which was plug shaped as per the plugs that they arrived in and these trees looked super healthy when they got here these were oh picture gets blurry huh uh i had been noticed i had been noticing today when i watched when i watched videos I had watched a couple of times that uh, other people's videos were timing out, so I wouldn't know if that was my feed or their feed. But uh, yeah, I was curious if we were if if we were having sporadic issues. So I would believe I, I would believe that. Also, uh, I was noticing something. I um was uh setting camera earlier and I noticed that whenever I was setting camera that it was changing focus and 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 having shenanigans that uh that weren't related to anything I was doing with it. So I would I would say that's probably that, that might very well be on our end. I was experiencing something similar. All right, I'm kind of searching for the angle here. Uh, 
I think I just found it. Okay. Ow. Four fingers. I'm thinking our angle will be something like this. Yeah. Those could, or that could do that. Okay. I'm going to wire it roughly here. Yeah. Get underneath there. I am, uh, every time I come around and you see me bring my hand around, <clears throat> I'm kind of letting go and letting the plier slide, the plier handle slide through my hands. And that's releasing the tension on the wire. If you grab it and just start winding it up without, without releasing it and grabbing it again, you'll break it. You'll break it faster than if you spin it around. Release, spin it around, release. Uh, yeah. And if you forget to do that, you don't forget to do that too many times before you break a wire off too short. And then you have to uh, take the tree out, the soil out. And, and uh, or you or you find another way to deal with it. But none of them are really as fun after that. All right, now that I've got that big jagged thing sticking up there, bend it. Bend that down out of our way. Hi -ya. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. This other wire, I've got it right here. We're just going to, uh, this is going to work out really well. Again, all of our pieces. All right, now where is that guy? That guy in that one. One of these days, you're going to see me do that, and I'm going to run one of those cut ends of wire right through the old. I'm waiting for it. Pull back on the wires before you twist them. That way, hopefully, you've gotten any slack you left anywhere in them out, like if they're a little loose on the bottom or anything. Arr. Last call. That could be farther back. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. I um am a pollen survivor this week is about the best way to say it. I know I know others have really been have really been uh dealing with it. 
Uh, better late than never, Paul. Okay. Ooh. A little stuff. Now we can go chopping that in some. I think it looks like we're making enough time for ourselves. I mean, maybe I shouldn't go getting ahead of myself, but it looks like um, we should have time to do this other treat. This little, this little mame, little bean size pine. Yeah, overpile that and then start and then start chopping that stuff in. See how see how much of it we can get to stay. This is going to be really pretty. Um This pot came from uh, Elizabeth Crutenden, and her shop is called Hanada Ceramic. I believe it's on Etsy. Um, yeah, I would definitely, I would definitely uh, scope out her work. Um, as you can, as you've been able to see. Very impressive, very, very impressive unglazed pots. And her quality and her game is just spot on. I mean, everything is everything is just always so well executed. The feet are always really well done. The, um, all the little holes are always are always well proportioned and um you know in in good placement um there's always adequate drainage they're not there's nothing about the design that uh you know they drain well yeah so there's nothing really about the design that hinders i have another little pot that um that I was that I uh, had liked. I'd like it, but it was an opposite of this. It was made by a different person. It was made in a different style. It was, you know, and I liked it. I liked it for more of a wobby sobby kind of a thing. But um, it contributed to part of the problem, I think, because of drainage. Uh, I had problems with uh, the way that pot drained, and I had problems with um my overwatering fine akadama so uh that cost me that cost me a tree last year so out of the trees that we uh overplayed with that we kind of that that we've learned our lessons on one or two of them that we did virtually nothing to we also lost just because i personally have Apparently, still have issues with try with not overwatering something that's just in pure akadama. This is boon mix. This is going to be akadama, uh, lava, and pumice. And um, the two, three of those that I put in a bonsai pot before this one have absolutely flourished. We saw one of those. Or a couple of those today in today's show, and uh, one of them in that little rectangle pot is really, really something. I think this tree is really, really something. I had a, um, I uh, bowled a perfect game, and, I, and I'm not bragging. I don't do that often, but on this one, uh, I got that 
I mean, I'll often get the shape I want out of a tree, but sometimes, you know, sometimes I, I question my, you know, sometimes I'm kind of guarded about my execution. And um, this was one of those where the tree came out nice. My, I think my wiring back up the bins we were making. I have, I have wire here on the key places where those where the trunk would need the support the most there's a bend there's a band of wire running behind there just to that which is what it's doing there is to reinforce all of that and i think the, tr the tree responded really well to that and it comes out of the ground moving you can see it comes out of the ground right here and it's going that way i mean it's going three directions so you know, for our wins and our losses, this was one of them that I'm pretty happy with. As far as what we've just done, maybe I could have got this mound a little closer to center. In fact, it's a round pod. I need to get used. To, I, I need to get more used to thinking that way. And that's before I've even gotten through with it. But no, I'm not going to redo it. Um. All right. Okay. And no, I'm not going to redo it l l later off off camera when I'm sitting here watching cartoons in the middle of the night. That brings us to the, to a pine with a poor name. Um, this. A couple of years ago, I got a call from my doctors saying that the insurance that uh, I had been using for my uh, transition had been uh, put back in place by the current administration and that uh, m my surgeons were going through the files of unfinished business and I was some of it. So uh, the good news was I got to pick up on that third part of my personal transition. The bad news was is it was the one I was out of the three, it was the one I was actually more afraid of um, because it was a lot of hours in surgery, and it was just to it was just up here and up here, and um, the recovery was going to be uh, 16, 18 weeks of something like that, and uh, they said you're not going to have the most fun you've ever had while all that's going on. So uh, I told them. When I got my job, uh, they said, are you free and clear of obligation? I went, I am, except for next summer. And that was, a, I don't know what Siri's talking about. but uh, uh, So they knew they knew a summer in advance that, uh, that I was going to go under the knife at some point. And we're very supportive. So in that in that time that I was recovering, uh, the $50 bonsai challenge happened. And I watched uh, friends of mine who had their own channels show uh, what they had, what, what their interpretation of the $50 challenge was. I think the deal was, was you were, uh, the way some people said it, you were supposed to get the tree and the pot maybe in one place. Like if you, yeah, like if, like maybe you, you would go to uh, Home Depot or something and they don't have bonsai trees, but you would pick out something and go, okay, this is going to be my bonsai tree. And they also don't sell bonsai pots. So, okay, this, um, Break hub is going to be my, you know, or actually something that they would have sold at Home Depot. But you get the idea. Uh, and the idea was also to come in at under $50 and try to get all your stuff. And I think it was like try to get all of your stuff at one, from one source. That was that was part of it. So uh, some people were talking about, um, you know, included reused in the same soil. I wouldn't have considered. I wouldn't have considered that part of it. You know, if I if I were taking something out of a little out of a little uh seedling pot 
from a nursery that had whatever, and I were looking to make it even a, a an affordable bonsai, I, I would probably go with the bonsai soil that I had on hand that I knew I felt better about. I don't know if that was considered cheating or not. But uh, I think I probably went with my own, my own substrate on that. I do remember I went with my own substrate. When I got the tree, it was in perlite. The guy I the guy I got this tree from was uh, Eric Trader at uh, Bonzify. I ordered the little tree. It was twice this big, about probably that tall, that tall, and the bins weren't weren't that. You know, it was. Just a little graceful, graceful, very graceful little S. We we fixed that. Not sure. Boom, boom. Not sure what that is. Also, I have a wire down here with a screen on it. Live. I wonder if that's my phone, which is being used as a camera. I don't know. I'm going to give that about another minute, and then we'll stop and restart and see what happens. <laughs> Lisa says it's not her calling. Okay. <clears throat> My screen is kind of nailed down a little bit. And I don't want to let go of this until I do. <coughs> I don't want to um, let go of all of this until I um, get that loose. Did I get it? There, I did. All right, we're going to call this. We're going to call this part one, and I'm going to click the camera right back on, and we're going to go to part two. Um, no idea what that is. It might be Siri doing something. Okay. Anyway, we're going to end this stream right here, but I'm going to start it right back up in about five seconds. Boom. <laughs>